Uh, I'm gonna answer this question. Um, a few people asked me, hey, do you think I can give my kids birth certificates? Do you think it's okay? I tell everybody this. Yes, you can give your kids a birth certificate. A birth certificate is not proof that you are dependent of the federal government. The federal United States used your social security number, not your birth certificate. Have you ever applied for your job and they ask you, hey, do you have proof of birth certificate? No. Okay, so right off the bat, this imbecile is wrong. His statement clearly shows that he has never held a legal job because when you apply for a legal job and you get that job, you have to bring the employer, your social security card and your birth certificate. Like what in the doohickey are you talking about? This man is a straight fool. Actually, you have proof of social because social security number tell you in with the federal United States, which makes you a United States citizen. So getting a birth certificate does not stop you from, um, from you know, exercising your rights or you feel like your rights been taken away. No, it's just bond paper and you the bond holder. That's all it is. It's not a contract to prove U.S. citizenship within the means of the District of Columbia. It's just a state issuing you a birth certificate to prove that you've been born. It has nothing to do with uh, being a federal citizen. Now, I wouldn't recommend you to get your kids a social security number, but I do recommend you get your kids a birth certificate. I don't actually want to go through the long process of getting your kids a birth certificate through the Department of State by filling out a DS-10. Yes, DS-10. So go on travelstate.gov and uh, download the PDF DS-10 form, and it's an affidavit of birth certificate or affidavit of life right and then it, you put all of your baby description and everything like that in and also if you had a baby at home make sure you get the uh the records from the midwife and you send that directly into the department of state and they're going to issue your child a birth certificate and you can apply for a passport like that i'm out what's up family how y'all doing now um this is so crazy right um i posted a picture last week i want to say on um, youtube right um and i was showing you guys like I really need you guys to stop blaming the courts and prosecutors and judges and start blaming the DMV. Not literally putting your problems on the DMV, but they are showing the courts that there are some sort of contract that is established between you and the state. Um, due to the fact that your address, that fictitious address that they have on file for your ID. Um, I need you guys either to update the information on the ID or you can surrender the whole entire thing. It's so simple to surrender contracts directly to the DMV. Walk in, say, hey, I want to invalidate this driver's license. Or I want to invalidate the ID. When you're dealing with search warrants, warrants or anything like that, it all ties into the ID. So if the ID shows that you have a warrant, the police can pull you into the jurisdiction like that. If the prosecutors want a um, search warrant to your house, all they got to do is get the address from the ID and go inside your home. So, y'all, be very careful when it when it comes to stuff like this. Um, the DMV is operating in silence, but in reality, th those are the ones that's helping the courts gain jurisdiction. Why do you think they always ask you for identification from the DMV when the police want to see your identity? Because public records, background check, and everything like that ties into your ID. So make sure you get rid of those IDs and and live 100% in the private because those addresses is constantly subjecting y'all to the jurisdiction. So when you go in court, you asking the judge, you telling the judge, man, what the hell are you talking about? You have jurisdiction, but they're not going to tell you that it's your license that got you in. They're not going to tell you it's your address that got you in. They're not going to tell you any of those things. It's up to you to find out. And I was fortunately, I mean, fortunate enough to find out myself. So just be careful, y'all. Stop blaming the courts. Start blaming the DMV. Cancel those contracts ASAP. I'm out. Now, what I find most disturbing with this video is the fact that this clearly unintelligent man that is giving people horrible life advice is out here procreating. It is sad that that child laying on his chest is going to have to grow up under this man's care. He's out here ruining other people's lives. So imagine the damage that he's going to do to his own child's life now this man is clearly giving people bad advice and he's trying to teach them how to be better criminals all of that surrender your license and like that is just pure 
foolishness. It is foolishness. People that took the time out of their lives before they were going down the wrong path to actually get their, go through the proper steps to get their driver's licenses. And in 10 seconds of listening to this fool, if you're gullible enough, you're going to ruin that. This is, this is just sad. Yo, what's up, family? Man, I got a crazy story to tell y'all, right? So about three to four days ago, I was in New Orleans, Louisiana, right? So now remind you, right? I'm coming out there with my wife, you know, got my kids and everything like that, right? So come to find out, Louisiana's an open carry state, so it's weird. You could constitutional carry out there, but you can't conceal carry without a license, right? So you can open carry in Louisiana without a license, and... If you um, don't have a license, you can't conceal carry. So you only can open carry out there without a license. All you got to be is 18 years and older, right? So imagine, according to a federal law, I'm a convicted felon, so-and-so, right? So I'm out there, I'm open carrying, I'm going fishing and, you know, stuff like that. I bump into a lot of police. I bumped into a couple of sheriffs. You know, they just roll past me. They don't even look at the gun. What's so crazy is... I never got any eye contact with the officer. They never looked at me weird because of my race or nothing. Like, I had a gun on me in the Uber stores, everything, right? So, I ended up going to the gun shop, right? So, I'm feeling so big-headed now. I'm, oh, I'm, I said, okay, I'm going to try this again, you know, because, uh, you know, in Florida, I got approved for uh, for, buying a, for purchasing a firearm. I came back literally three days later try to buy another one and they denied me right because they're talking about have a background and everything like that so and i'm thinking okay that maybe that's the florida thing right because my background went through florida police uh it didn't go through atf so this time i had them okay uh run my background so i seen a gun it was an f and n 509 so i walked in a gun store open carry i had an open carry pistol so when I, once I picked the gun out, he said, okay, this is the gun you want? I'm like, yes, I like it. This is what I want. So now imagine I have no address in uh, Louisiana. So I hurry up and went outside with my wife and I applied for EIN. And um, I basically stated that I lived in, at a homeless shelter. And I could legally do that, basically saying that I live in a homeless shelter. Now, I didn't tell them that, but I put a homeless shelter address on my EIN uh, PDF. So that was supplementary mail because the uh, IRS is government mail. So once you got that, okay, they can use that supplementary mail. And and when I, before I tell you guys this, right? Now, when I go into this store, they Second Amendment advocates for real. Like, you know, when you go across America, like Florida and all that, mm, those are like liberals. When you go to Louisiana in the South, those Second Amendment advocates, and he's a he's a white guy who told me this. I'm, I seen an AR, like not an AR, it was like a sniper or something, right? The sniper got to be longest, like, I want to say the sniper at least over three feet long, like a real sniper with a scope so big. They want 11000 for it. So I'm telling him, like, man, how much y'all want for that? He said 11000 I said, you don't have to have a special license for this because, you know, NRA, they got strict rules cause with, like, automatic weapons and high-power white rifles and everything like that. He said, no, man, you really just got out of cash. So I'm looking at the pictures and all that. They got the founding, you know, the founding people who make the document. They're not the founding people of America, but in a, in a, for the for the whole sake of this conversation, they are the ones who set up the Constitution, right? So they set up the Constitution to put the Second Amendment, but they put all those people on the walls, right? They put everybody on the walls, um, you know. Um, so when I went into the store, I'm like, damn, they really gun friendly in Louisiana. So I felt even more happy to, you know, get this gun application on the way. So I'm still open carrying. Now, there was another guy. He was looking at me weird up in there. Now, he was a customer. He didn't work there. He was just a customer. He was looking at me because I'm open carrying in the store and whatever the case might be. So the other guy, he pulled me to the side. He said, okay, let me, let's run your application. I gave him my passport and gave him the supplementary mail, right? So I waited, you know, put all the information in. Uh, once he submitted, um... About five minutes come back, he said, man, uh, says your application been denied. Oh, they ain't give me a reason why. They say your application being denied. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I ain't never just got denied for a gun application inside of a gun store and I'm open carrying in this motherfucker. So just imagine what, you, what he could possibly think. 
This man can be a convicted felon. He walked into this store like he's a law-abiding citizen and never been in trouble. So eventually, um, he gave me a number to call for an appeal, and I was on my way. I ran up that goddamn block so fast with my family. I'm like, let's go. We have to go. Let's go. Not even a minute go by. The sheriff's pulled up on the side over there when it's at the, the gun store. Now I'm thinking the people at the gun store called the sheriff. So I'm I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to get out their way because the only reason why I'm kind of nervous is because I gave an address, right? Now, my state don't release my background, so I couldn't get charged with being a felon in possession of a firearm. But they would would have tried to arrest me with because I used that mail. But in reality, it wouldn't even hold weight because there's no proof that I actually live at the homeless shelter. But just in the meantime, it was the whole factor that um, that I'm a convicted felon, supposedly. And I'm walking around open carrying, openly, not concealed carry, openly. And 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 I seen another police officer after that. He looked at my gun and kept it going. He didn't give a damn. So it, it was a crazy story, man. Look, um, I'm never going and buying a gun again from these people. I'm operating strictly in the private. They won't sell me a gun no more. I'm going to have to have my peoples buy me a gun every time I go to the store, man. Because I guess these people don't want to sell me guns no more, man. But I'm glad I'm out. Now, I'm not even understanding the moral of this story. What was the point of this man telling this story he confessed to being a felon he confessed to giving a false address when trying to apply for a gun license so you're just showing that you're just a criminal walking around doing criminal activities I don't understand why you would document these type of stories and then your story had no point to it other than the fact that you can't get a gun license which is already basically any individual would already know that come to that conclusion because you admitted to be a convicted felon convicted felons cannot get gun licenses like i'm 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 just at a loss for words here i just don't get it Hey, let's have a little